The resource I'm going to share this week is Weebly for Education. It's an online web creating tool that is free and has no like advertising or commercials and it looks extremely professional. Here is an example of the one that I created for my future classrooms. As you can see, you can add different widgets along the side here and I have link buttons and different files that they can look at and download for each class. I also created a blog and before that, I get to that, here's the assignment submission thing which is a really great feature that they have where they just fill in, the student would fill in these fields, upload their file, and then it gets sent to me in an email. So that eliminates the my printer didn't work, work excuse. And here's the blog that I was talking about, so I can just post different due dates along the side here. And maybe when their interactive notebooks are due, I can have a weekly recap and in-class assignments that were done, different papers that were given out, blog posts, that kind of stuff, as well as the section for parents if I thought that there was information that they should know about, videos that they missed, documents that they missed if they were gone, so it's a great way to keep parents and students on the same page, as well as if students are gone, they can get the information that way, or even if they just didn't write it down right and wanted to check, it's great for that reason. And it's extremely easy to use. So this is the one I was just showing you. I'll show you the designer interface really quick. It's extremely simple. I created an example page really quick. And all you have to do is drag things on there that you want to have. And you can just start typing. There's a lot of different things you can add, like uh, HD videos, and audio, documents, YouTube clips, whatever you may want, uh, link buttons like I had before. And it's just extremely easy to use. But another great feature of this that I will get to now, besides the fact that it can also be used for a mobile aspect, which I should quickly mention. They can go on and use their phones and still be able to access it, which is awesome. But now getting back to what I was going to talk about, you can have your students set up websites. So you would just create a class and then you can add individual students or you can come up with groups of students and what I, how I would like to envision using this is replacing my interactive notebooks and having students post their video YouTube clips that they create or whatever they create for class and have it posted there and then maybe have like a blog page that they can write in weekly about the different prompts that I have that they write about when they come in and if they, this would work great if they all had their own tablets or laptops that they could bring to class with them every single day and I could have it be like a portfolio almost because I have students for four years so they have this awesome creation to share with the world because I can either have it be public or private so this is my resource and thank you for